That sound bite, but that student did say that she thinks racism is still going on and that she thinks it shouldn't be like that. So they need to stop that and action should be taken because in her words, that's just wrong. But let's go ahead now and talk about Kareem Brown. Heather. That's right, Anthony. In her own words, Kareem Brown testified today at times tearful, at times indignant. Now she told the courtroom that she wished she paid closer attention to her finances and said she was always busy working on things for her constituents. After seven days of testimony tomorrow, the prosecution will finish cross examining Brown, who is the fourth and the final witness for the defense. Now the jury has listened to hours of testimony about tax filings and bank receipts and charitable donations. This case boils down to some basic points. The prosecution says Corrine Brown was the mastermind behind a fraud built on a bogus charity, One Door for Education, soliciting tens of thousands of dollars from some of the region's most politically connected people, including political consultant and Trump Florida campaign manager Susie Wiles and automotive dealer Jack Hanania. In all, prosecutors say Brown solicited more than $800,000 for One Door, money they say was used for parties and shopping at stores like Neiman Marcus. Prosecutors say Brown's longtime chief of staff, Ronnie Simmons, and One Door founder, Carla Wiley, worked with Brown to perpetrate the fraud. Both of them have pleaded guilty. Prosecutors also introduced heads of several nonprofit institutions that Brown claimed to have donated to, donations she deducted on her taxes. People like Nat Glover, the president of Edward Waters College, and the CEO of the Clara White mission, Jacoby Pittman, who testified that they had no record of the donations Brown claimed to have made. Brown's attorney presented just four witnesses compared to the 43 called by prosecutors. For them, their case boils down to this. They say Wiley and her now ex-boyfriend Simmons perpetrated a fraud and deceived the congresswoman. Wiley admitting to taking some $140,000 of one-door money for herself. Simmons acknowledged spending the fake charity's cash on vacations and other personal expenses. He also testified he managed the congresswoman's finances and even signed her financial disclosure forms and tax documents. Now, closing arguments are expected to start Monday morning. Then it will be up to the 12 member jury to decide whether or not the former congresswoman is guilty of the 22 federal charges she's facing. And we, of course, will keep you updated both on air and on firstcoastnews.com. And it's been a